started to become uncomfortable with the quiet and I need to start listening to that. Good morning, ladies. Welcome back to the Mind, Body, Soul Homemaking. And welcome if you're new. If you are new, my name is Audrey. I make motivational homemaking videos, wife life content, traditional living, and slow living. So if you're interested in that, I would love to have you. So it's been rough. We've been sick for about a week. Today's video will be kind of get back on track. You probably know this if you've been sick, your whole schedule gets thrown out of whack. So hopefully this motivates and inspires you ladies to get things done, but also, you know, give yourself a little bit of grace, leeway, and not push it. It's gonna take a couple days to get back in the swing of things, to find your rhythm again, and you know, for me it's taken a little bit. So hopefully you ladies find some homemaking motivation and get inspired as homemakers. And and without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So this is what my days were looking like towards the end of being sick. It took me a couple days to get motivated <laughs> to get out of bed. Um, I took every opportunity I could to stay in bed while Joe could watch Josiah because I really just needed to rest and I think I watched uh, you got mail like 10 times. It was just one of those feel-good movies and I diffused eucalyptus tea tree and peppermint because I seen that that was something that was really good for when you're sick. Uh, I try to stay hydrated. A heating pad really helped a lot and changing the sheets as often as I could I think really makes you feel good when you're sick. Um, so I also drank a lot of tea and I usually put turmeric, ginger, apple cider vinegar, and honey in my tea when I'm sick so definitely recommend that when you're not feeling the greatest and also wearing just some cute cozy pajamas and trying to shower every day really really helped a lot. share with you ladies just a few pieces that I put together instead of wearing dresses every day something that you can wear that's cute and comfortable and a lot of my clothes I thrift I try to find pieces that are buttoned up blouses light collar like cream and blush sometimes I do wear just like a skirt and a tank top I think it's really comfortable just to wear around the house Hopefully this helps you ladies just get some ideas because I know that if you are not comfortable wearing dresses around the house and you're trying to figure out what's cute and comfortable and practical for everyday use at home and then hopefully this can give you some ideas. Something I really wanted to do before the time passed and I forgot was to write out thank you letters. When we were sick, we had meals every day for a week and friends would pick up groceries for us and just odds and ends and I just really wanted to write those thank you letters and I highly encourage you to do the same. Take away your 
sorrow in the old ways get washed out by the rain. Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night. Cause I promise. Good morning. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I just woke up feeling like in a daze, like not feeling motivated, having that feeling like what's the point, finding your purpose again, not just in homemaking, but just questioning everything. <laughs> I think it's just because you get thrown off track. In a way, I think it's a good thing because um, I started to become uncomfortable with the quiet and I was like, not good. I know that's an indicator of where I need to start listening to that. And so that's what I tried to do this morning. I tried to get comfortable um, in the quiet and in the silence. And I know deep breathing really helps. I don't um, believe in spiritual meditation part, um, but I do think being somewhere quiet, somewhere in the silence and answering those questions that are coming up, those anxious thoughts um, is a good thing and not to find a way to distract you yourself from them. I'm gonna have my Bible study with a friend this morning, do some reading, filming, and you know, you just get in that frame of mind where you're just like, yeah, but really what's the point, you know? And I know that's a scary place to be for me because it's like, there is a point. So the next step was just to face the silence, face the questions. I think it goes hand in hand with you have to get back in your routine of things after get comfortable being uncomfortable. So I just read this little article here in this uh, magazine that my friend got me um, about silence. It says the quieter you become, the more you're able to hear. And isn't that so true? The fact that we don't want <laughs> to sit in our thoughts and our silence um, is a good indication that we very desperately need to, I think. Um, so I did push and I did have the study and of course I felt better afterwards. And I think that's sometimes just the way things are. We have to push ourselves to do things even when we don't want to. And then in the end, we hope and pray that it will feel better afterwards. And sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but at least it's trying to do something. It's important to change the channel and do some sort of physical activity. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for a walk and get out in nature. I've said this so many times, but it's so crucial to your mental health. My last video, my Q&A video, so many of you reached out and said how you were struggling with the same thing, whether it be past trauma, from your childhood or from a spouse, an ex-spouse. And I think there's no getting around it. Everyone is struggling with something. Good days, we have bad days. We have ups, we have downs. So just know that when you're down, there's always around the corner gonna be an up. As long as you persevere, build your resilience, you know, be consistent and not give up. Eventually, you know, when you keep doing this, when you try to convince yourself, then you'll start to believe it. And you're gonna have bad days. You're gonna have flashbacks, you're gonna have triggers, but it's it doesn't define you. It doesn't, it's not who you are. And don't base your worth, don't put a label on yourself. Don't put yourself in a box. Know that you can be the best version of yourself, whether it be physically, spiritually, and mentally and emotionally. Don't expect perfection. Let go of unrealistic expectations and be selfless, have gratitude, all these things. You know, it's a constant practice. Being balanced, oh my gosh, being balanced. I don't know what I'm gonna get into today, but I know that I'm gonna go for a walk because we haven't went for a walk in a week and um, I can tell. So this is your reminder to get outside and go for a walk.